Hey everyone, welcome back to Finishing 5. We are done with the core box for X-Men Unite, and we're going to move on to Gambit, here from the blue team. So just like our other figures, he has a nice Zenithal Prime, a lot of light spaces, a lot of really nice dark spots for this speed paint to work on. So we're going to start light and work up dark. The lightest color we're going to start with is Crusader Skin. So we put that onto his face, onto his hands, or at least his fingers here that are poking out from around his gloves. And that'll finish out with that color. We're going to do some chemistry here. We're going to take Purple Alchemy, mixed with Speed Paint Medium, mixed with a drop of Liquitex White. And I was trying to get a nice pink color to use on the energy coming off of the cards here. So we put this on. It flows well. It goes on like a Speed Paint. There isn't a true pink Speed Paint that they have out yet, at least. Hopefully they do come out with one in the future. But this is what we go with for now, and it seems to work out pretty well. We also use that same pink color to paint the lower half of his shirt. And he's got two little spots on his pants that we're going to paint as well with that pink. We take magic blue and we're going to paint the top half of his shirt underneath of his neck there. And we're going to paint his boots with that in a second as well. And there's a lot of nice texture on these areas around his neck and then on his boots there's some nice ridges and some uh, triangles on his knee pads. And you can't forget the little spot around his belt that is also blue that separates the pink part of his shirt from his black pants. It's kind of worried about his jacket because there are a lot of big flat areas on there, but there's also some nice grooves and ridges and folds. And this hardened leather goes on there really well. You just put it on really thick and let it sink down into those recesses. And you're going to see here in a second that you get a really nice result from the speed paint using the Zenithal Prime. And I mean, look at that. A lot of nice dark colors back there. His hair needs to be darker than his jacket, so we're gonna go with dark wood, which is the darkest brown that's in the speed paint line. And again, a lot of nice uh, detail pulled out here because of that Zenithal Prime. A lot of texture in his hair. We're going to take Grim Black and we're going to paint this thing around his face. I'm not sure what it's called. It's not quite a Baliklava, but it seemed like all of the 90s characters had one of these things going on. You know, him, Havoc, Cyclops, they all had this weird thing uh, wrapped around their face. If you know what it's called, let me know in the comments. And, you know, whenever we get to paint Havoc, we'll be able to call it the right thing. But for now, I don't know what it is, but we painted Grim Black. Grim Black, rather. Grim Black we're going to use on his pants as well. Try not to get on those pink spots that we painted down there, so we'll take our time, paint a little slower, and get that on there. And Grim Black on his gloves. And remember, Gambit wears almost like a pole shooting glove where, you know, he's got two fingers that are fully covered with that, so make sure we take it all the way out there to cover his fingertips on two of them. For the base, I'm going to use Gravelord Gray and just kind of slop this all over the, the majority of the base. There's a fire extinguisher in the back that you'll see once we spin the, the miniature around here that he's kind of vaulting off of. So we want to make sure that we don't get any black on there or any gray on there. We're going to use Slaughter Red for the fire hydrant and that fire there is pretty much all black. But you can see that the speed paint goes on and covers it with no problem with just one coat. So we put it on there, that's going to be a nice shadowy area because it's so dark. And just like that, we are pretty much done with the speed painting portion of Gambit. You could be done at this point if you wanted to, you could put some, uh, you know, Gravelord Grey or some black on his staff back there if you want to, but I'm not done with that. We're going to take this figure to the next level and add in some detail here. So we're going to start out by his cards, and we're just going to clean them up. We're going to take some uh, solid white here, or... I can't read that says Spirit White, I think. And we're going to paint the cards, just bring them back to a nice vibrant white color. And then we're going to back some Freehand with some Dead Black and some Saloon Red. And we're going to give him a heart, a spade, and a diamond. And we try to Freehand a little A on there as well, so he's throwing the three aces. For his eyes, we're going to start out with some Dead Black, and we're going to paint in the eye socket. And remember, Gambit doesn't have eyes like you and me. You know, his eyes are black with a red pupil, so then we're going to go back with some Saloon Red here, 
and just dot in the pupil. I also go back with a spot of the Liquitex white and add just the smallest highlight right on the pupil there so he's got a nice twinkle in his eye. We're going to take some dark flesh and we're going to paint his eyebrows and this is a nice color to match up with his hair. For his staff, I'm just going to take some Claymore. Sorry, for his staff, I'm just going to take some Claymore blade, and we're going to cover this up. Make sure to take your time with this. You don't want to rush and get metallic all over the nice color on the jacket there or on his gloves. So we'll just take our time. We'll paint this a little bit slower, and we'll get a nice silver color all over his staff. I thought about going back with some gray or gray or something to cover over top of this metallic. And I figured I just wouldn't. I wanted to leave just a nice metallic staff for Gambit to have in his hand. So that's what I went with. And because he's a character, because he's a hero, we're going to give him a portal blue lip on his base. And Gambit is finished in five. Take one here. Take one look at him here. Nice 360. And then we're going to pull him off of the base. And we're going to put him in here with the rest of the team. So here you can see Gambit alongside the rest of the core box. He looks really nice over there. And then we got our Sentinels for the 500 subscriber challenge. We're just short of 500. So if you're not subscribed, please do like the video, comment down below. Let me know who you want to see me paint next. And I'll see you guys in the next video.